Yeah. It is winter here in Norway. Woo hoo hoo. So here is the new telescope. It's an E28, and we are for the moment testing a Skywatch of 7 inch Maxuto. But uh, uh, now I'm ready for observing. Well, a little bit light, but I send it to the first alignment star, and that is uh, <coughs> that is Betelgeuse, and we hopefully can hear the sound of the mount. It looks like a kind of music instrument from the 80s. Okay, I use uh, one star alignment and I should use the button keys to center the star in the eyepiece, but I don't do this because I, I control it from the computer inside. I use the Sky 6 and the T-point model. So I just accept it and enter and then ask me one more question. Yeah. Alignment successful. So it is close to Betelgeuse, but not exactly on. Yeah, and this lamp is a heater when telescope is not in in use, I cover with this uh, what's called tough line. <laughs> well, so this lamp is very handy. It is it is very permanent and always lighting. When I'm not using the telescope, keep the telescope dry and uh, yeah ready. Okay. We can go inside and look at the computer. Oh yes, it's winter. My bike. Yes. So, I just say telescope link established, hopefully, oh, oh that is, that's, that's not supposed to be there. Okay, we can see that it is pointing at Betelgeuse, almost. So, so I zoom to telescope. Because of the, I have a T-point model, I can now click on Betelgeuse, slew. No, it is pointing at Betelgeuse. And I have a CCD soft. Take a picture, probably don't see anything as expected. 
and I use CCD commander if you want to run it completely automatic. So but I want to slew it to slew it to a star here in Pegasus. And we can go out and listen. Oi, strange sound. It sounds like a special music instrument. Okay, thanks for your time.